Aaron, spelled A-R-O-N, really needed the job. His daddy was making rock-bottom wages at the local battery factory. His mother worked as a cleaning lady. The family lived in a government-subsidized apartment on the tough side of town. It was a matter of paying the family bills. Aaron really needed the job. And once he got it, that he kept it. His job as an usher in a theater. Every day after school, the teenager would walk the two miles home, change into his usher's uniform, walk a mile to the Lowe's State Theater on Main Street. But aside from the necessity of working at Lowe's, Aaron genuinely loved it because inside that grand old theater building, past the ornate columns and the marble-floored lobby was another world, a world which Aaron so much preferred to the real one. How great it would be, he thought, himself to become a movie star. Now, how would a fellow go about that, he wondered. He stared intently at the big screen in the darkness, studying the actors in every aspect. After a while, he began taking notes on them, wrote down how the actors performed and why he thought they were popular, observed that dark-haired stars seemed to outlast the light-haired ones, that many of the most successful never smiled in their publicity shots. Even the way Clark Gable wore his shirts interested Aaron. Every night when his shift was over, a long walk home lay before him, and yet the journey seemed a brief one because of the thoughts dancing in his head, the reflections of what he had seen on the silver screen. And as I say, Aaron really needed the job, but this is the rest of the story. One night he got in a fight with another rusher, a boy his age. Seems the girl who worked at the candy counter had taken a liking to Aaron, had given him a candy bar for free. The other rusher was going to tell the manager... Anyway, the manager, a straight-laced fellow named Arthur Groom, saw the two boys hurling fists at each other, and he fired them both on the spot. They tried to explain, but Mr. Groom just walked away. Aaron was unemployed. Now, remember this. Aaron had been fired by Mr. Groom. He tried other jobs after that, but never got the hang of them. Until the career which he stayed with for the rest of his life. And because of that career, his family would never go hungry again. For only three years later, and this staggers the imagination, only three years, three short years after that same manager and that same theater gave Memphis, Tennessee its premiere of a motion picture, a movie starring the usher Mr. Groom had fired. Just three years. The young man's parents attended the grand opening. The young man himself was back in Hollywood, already making a second motion picture. And there would be a great many more. There's no way to know that he kept his job as an usher. He might have just dreamed on forever. But instead he walked out that theater door and eventually walked onto the silver screen and into the hearts of millions who celebrate his name to this day. Aaron, A-R-O-N, was his middle name. The other names were Elvis, Aaron Presley. And now you know the rest of the story. <laughs>